Today, um, today uh, what I wanted to show you, um, a little example of what can be done on the Nintendo 3DS. And I also have a um, Nintendo DS Lite here. And I'll show you in a bit why I have that here. Um, what I ordered online from Hong Kong, it actually took nearly, well, it took over a month to get due to some garbage that occurred at the uh, at the uh, Beverly Hills Post Office, which, if you pay attention to my blog, you'll know all about that. Anyway, what I ordered was this little device here. This device is called the R4 card. Now, the interesting thing about this is that uh, there are a lot of clones out there. Um, and, uh, you know, there are clones that uh, actually look like this. Um, so there's there's a lot of different cards out there that will give you um, some of the trippy stuff that this gives you. Um, and I'll explain what exactly this does. First off, let me start off with this one. This is the one I ordered. I ordered a $17 from online from Hong Kong. R4. Now, if you look, this has a 32 gig card in it. I purchased this from Radio Shack. I don't know. It was on sale for 20 bucks. So, this goes into here. What this allows you to do, interestingly enough, I'm having a difficult time getting it in there. 32 gigabytes on this little card. So now, uh, the idea with this R4 card is it gives you the ability to run Homebrew on your 3DS or on your DS Lite or whatever DS you have. So, I purchased this, plugged it in, and uh, it didn't work. I'll tell you, give you an example of what it did. And when I first plugged it in, it came up with an error message that looked like this. Don't. An error has occurred. Hmm, odd. Okay, well, in order to get around this error, what happened was, actually, is that Nintendo upgraded the operating system on their 3DS, which prevents cards like these from working. So I actually had to go out and buy a used Nintendo uh, DS Lite in order to get this card to work. Because in order to get this card to work, you have to update it. Well, you can't update it because you can't get anywhere when you put the card in here. So I had to up get this. I purchased this for $80 on Craigslist. Pop this in. And since this is an older machine and I don't believe it's supported anymore, uh, this was able to update it with the software that I downloaded and put on the 32 gig card. Simple enough. 80 bucks out of my pocket. So now once this is updated, then I can pop this in. And what this allows you to do is turn the unit on. In theory. And it emulates a game that already exists. In this case, it emulates Bomberman. Open up the cartridge. All right, and it recognizes I have a 32 gig card here. Okay, now what's interesting about this is it has this thing called Wi-Fi Engine. This allows you, and understand this whole thing is Japanese, so it's not easy to understand how to do it. It's in all in broken English. It probably took me five hours just to figure out how to get half this stuff to work. Come back to life. So you hit the Wi-Fi engine, and, but look at this here. I've got 65 games stored on that 32 card gig card. There's there's more. I could get more on there, but this just gives you an example that you can copy all the games that you own and put them on this little card, so you don't have to come around and switch cards all day long, right? Now the one thing that you need to pay attention to is it says Nintendo DS. Okay, this is a 3DS, right? But this game, these cartridges will only emulate DS cartridges, not 3DS cartridges. Okay? So like I said, we were going to here. You can actually go into here and look at all these games that you can actually store on the card. 
65 is what I have on here. You can get a hell of a lot more, depending on the size of the SD card that you have in there. So just to give you an example, um, let's just go into one of these games. I'm going to go into, you know what, I'm going to go into one I haven't tried loading since I copied it to the card. Let's try uh, Fife. Uh, let's see if that one works. I haven't tried it yet. Let's see if it works. Looks like it does. So, any of the games that you own, you get a little dongle, you plug that dongle, your games you own, into that dongle and plug that into your machine, and then uh, you can copy the games directly to, to the card. So anyway, that works. I'm going to get out of here because I'm getting annoyed by it. That's it. So, you can go in here. The nice thing about this thing is that you can go into here and you can load cheats. So, uh, you go up to here. There's your cheat codes. Doesn't look like this one has any. So, let's go to one that I know that does. Um, I think Mario something does. Mario and Luigi. Let's go with that. Oops, I screwed up. Mario and Luigi. X. And uh, there you go. There's your cheats. And these are all the cheats that you can do. Pretty cool. Uh, miscellaneous codes. You can just check them and then you can load the game. I'm, I'm really screwing up here, but that's all right. Here you go. There's your cheats. Infinite missiles. Hit A. Hit A. And hit save and then you can load it. Whatever. In the interest of time, I'm not going to do it, but it does work. It's, it's cool. It's really cool. So um, it gives you the ability, like if you are a hardcore gamer, you can um, load all your games that you bought onto uh, this little cartridge and then just take the whole thing with you. It's pretty far out, you know. It's, it's, it's nice that you'd be able to take all your games with you. Now, keep in mind, anytime Nintendo updates the operating system, it's likely that you're going to have to update the software that is on this card, the R4 card. Um, it's not a perfect science, this stuff. Um, it's, it, it's kind of a kludge, but hey, you know what? It works for the most part. Now, when I, when I said earlier that I had to buy this guy, uh, for 80 bucks I found it on Craigslist, uh, it came with this R4 card. This R4 card, as you saw when I first started this video, did not work in here. That's because this needs to be updated. So if I go into here, um, it works on the uh, it works on the DS Lite, which is rocking. And uh, this particular card only has two gigs of uh, memory. Not not the card itself here, but actually this card only has two gigs. So. Which is all cool. But, uh, you know, if you want to get more, you just get a bigger card. It's just that simple. So, that being said, this little guy is using a different operating system and a different card. So, you know, and just to give you an idea of the differences, uh, you will see that this is running a different operating system. It's a micro SD card. This guy, you know, you go through here. I think I've got 25 games in here. You can just go into here, load up Peggled, which is a nice little fun game. Boom! It is loaded just like that. So any of the games you own, you just get this little dongle. You take your game, you plug it into the dongle. It's USB. Then you plug that USB directly into your machine. Uh, and you're set. So you can copy all the games you own to the dongle, up to your machine, and then back down into here. Be cool about it, people. Just be legal. You know, don't be stupid. Anyway, uh, that's a pretty much the example of what, what I wanted to show you here. Uh, it's pretty swell, you know. Uh, DS Lite and uh, 3DS. Show you the uh, cards here. Again, be careful with these cards. There's actually... A lot of different models out there, a lot of them, and uh, you'll it's it's kind of hard to know which ones are going to be uh, legit and which ones are going to be uh, you know clones. 
But uh, I went with this one here, um, 17 bucks. Um, and you'll notice, as I saw here, which I thought was really interesting, it's very doubtful you'll see this on the camera, but this says www.r4i-sdhc.com. All right. This one says www.r4i-sdhc.com. No dash on this one. What the hell does that mean? I don't know. But anyway, there you go. Um, be smart. Be careful. Don't be stupid and do things illegally. Um, people make their living off of... Uh, excuse me, I bumped the camera. People make their living off of uh, uh, making games. Uh, don't be an ass. Only do uh, copy games to your machine that you own. All right? Take care.